Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, mm. Stanley. All right, we're coming in with this week's power review, Power Book 2, yeah. Ghost, Episode 3, The Greater, Greater Good. Good. Can yeah. we have like five seconds of transparency for you all? <laughs> this is the second time that we've had to do this freaking review. Yeah. Y'all don't want to know why, but just know that doing Vlogmas on our main channel is kicking <laughs> <Yeah>. our <laughs> Are we doing it for the Ooh. family, though? We doing it for the family. Y'all didn't deserve <laughs> what we did the first time, so we are doing this skit again. Yeah, man. So let's get it, baby. So we gonna first, we yeah, we gonna first start off that this was a really, really good episode. Mm -hmm. I think Power Book y'all are delivering on the season two of this man. So uh, yeah, keep them coming. I'm here for it, man. So the episode start off that we see Tariq going up to this. This place, what was the Barclays place? Yeah, hotel, and, right? Yeah, I think it was hotel. And uh, we see that Councilman Tate and his brother is in there because they celebrating because he done got a job as an investigator for a DA office. And he was like, you know, this is a big deal, bruh. Because he was acting like it wasn't a big deal. He was like, and you know you gonna you you know you gonna miss those boys in blue. And he was like, Psh. And after this, no, they I, did to me. They did to me after this. <laughs> As they should be. So, leave a job. so Tariq walks on up in there. And so, Councilman Tate peeps him out. was like, okay. So, the dude, the um, I don't know who he was, was trying to stop Tariq from getting there. He was like, that's my uncle. You know, Councilman Tate is my uncle. He was like, whatever. And then Kate, Tate came over there. was like, yeah, yeah, I know him. And so, Tariq told him, said, I, I, I need, no. Kate, Tate was like, uh, Ninja, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> you ain't even supposed to be here. And Tariq was like, I'm here because, like I told you, I need help with the CPS because I need, you know, get in touch with Yaz. I need your help. And so Tate was like, you know, from the last time we talked, I told you I need your help. You said that, you know, that Braden and them knows Sweeney them, so can you get me some information on that? And I can get you a meeting with CPS first thing in the morning. And Tariq was like, bet. Yeah. But Tate was like, but I need some information on Sweeney that's going to get him kicked out of office. And Tariq was like, how in the F am I supposed to do that? <laughs> and I'm still trying to figure that out. Yeah, I'm trying to figure that. And so when me and the Queen was talking, we was like, the only thing that we could think of that it's could possibly is that book that um, they had at the house that had everything that was on them. So, I don't know how in the hell Tariq going to pull that off, but he agreed. And we saw that Tariq had the meeting with CPS. And CPS told Tariq uh, that pretty much Jazz is going to be here until Big Mama gets back on her feet. And Tariq was like, that's the problem. Jazz don't <laughs> want to go back with Big Mama. So, can I get her? And she was like, well, you need a stable environment. He was like, yeah, I do. She was like, a college don't know him. A college dorm is stable. And Tariq was like, well, what if I get an apartment? And she was like... But you need a job. But you need some job with some stable income. Pass a drug test. Pass exactly. No past check. criminal history or drugs and He's violence like, and stuff like that. Say less. She was like, I can do that. And she was like, but you but you couldn't get this meeting with me today. By yourself. <laughs> By yourself. Yeah. <laughs> so... Immediately, we saw that he contacted Bash. Was like, I need a legit paycheck. Bash, Bash was like, bet. <laughs> uh, we can open up an LLC, get a president, send money through it to you as being an employee, and it looks legit. legit. But it's gonna cost you thirty k. I was like, dang. And I was like, everything that Tariq needs, man, comes with a heavy uh, price tag, I'm, man. I'm talking heavy. Yeah, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> and he always come through with yeah, your money. Yeah. So I need to be on his team. So Tariq was like, well, well, why can't I be president? And he was like, you don't want to be audited by the IRS, so we need to be somebody else so it can look legit. Like, yeah, you you the, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead and get to that part. Right. So we saw Tariq and Brayden um, come in like fast and the furious to meet up with Kane. <laughs> that was, well, <laughs> that's that what Kane said. said. Uh, to pick up the product. And so Brayden was like, bet, you know, because Brayden always come with all his zeal. He ready to go. You know, he ready to get it on uh -huh. popping. And so he go to grab the bags and Kane was, was like, like, nah. 
And Brayden was like, wait a minute. I, I, you know, why why, why, why you treat me like this? He was like, you know I can move weight. And I was like, yeah, because y'all remember when Kane took to re, uh, and took, his brother, took, uh, uh, Brayden. Brayden and his brother out on the Trace. corner. Trace. And Trace, you know, pretty much crammed up. <laughs> <laughs> but but Brayden came through. So he already knew. But but anyway, so they end up getting the things from, from Kane. But Kane was like, I... If y'all mess up my mama's uh, mess up Monet's business, it ain't gonna be good for us. And matter of fact, I'm actually waiting for y'all to f up. I was like, well, darn. You know? Tell me how you really feel. Right. So, uh, Braden. So Tariq tells at that point. So after they finished, Tariq told Braden like, we need to make some different moves because you know with the CPS stuff, we need to make some different moves. Mm -hmm. So, the Braden was like, bet. You know that spot you showed me. I did a little bit of renovation. I said that was, I was quick. like what? So what he did got one of the tutors took and installed a three D printer in the freaking wall that works by a freaking QR code to open the door. So basically, people they can put the freaking drugs in the guy door in the locker. Yeah, and they and, and the the person can come with a QR code, open it up. Take the drugs out, put their money in, and go on about their business. But I'm like, Tariq, man. That's a lot of trust. Lauren showed you the spot for y'all. Not not for everybody else. So you done took and showed it to Brayden. <laughs> That's what we do, though. Yeah. <laughs> I said, they done hey. took the Amazon locker idea. Hey, but, you know, we've been saying that, you know, that Brayden has all this zeal and Brayden is always, you know, running his mouth. But I'm like... He came up with a good idea. I was like, that's perfect because he was like, with this with this system right here, we can basically be ghosts. Nobody won't even know that he's even us. That's true. Yeah. So I was like, bet. So we'll see if this plan goes off. But I like it. I don't, it ain't better than the course correct idea. No. But I but I do like it, though. I, I do like it. So then we see uh, Tariq and Lauren. So Lauren is just sick of Tariq's skit, man. She but, should be. At this point, I'm like, <laughs> how many ways could this boy pop up with another female in your face? Yeah. I, I'm oh, I'm over it for her. But. Right, because when when uh, when he was talking to Brayden, well, well no, we ain't going to talk about that yet because I'm great at Yeah, matter of fact, because you remember <laughs> when, when, because he was talking to Diane up in the same spot, when uh when her and Lauren up. cross cross in the staircase. <laughs> I said, God door Tariq Pimp boy, he got these women going, boy. Mm -hmm. So Lauren was like, every time you know we we get together, you preoccupied with something else. Mm -hmm. so, and it show her my spot. Right. So the we see in the episode, so to smooth it over, the last time that he talked to her and he got the, the, the text from the, uh, that Tate got the CPS thing set up for him. Well, the meeting set up for him after the meeting he had with CPS. Got that meeting set up with him to meet up with Yaz. That was his opportunity to be like, hey, come with me. I'm going to show you what I've been doing this whole time. Mm -hmm. So you don't think that everything is yeah. shady. So you'll start I, to understand my world a little bit. Right. So I was like, that, that's actually a really good cover up. It, it, it was. <laughs> it's a really good cover up. So they end up going over there. Seeing Yas and Yas was like, Tariq, Tariq, is this Tariq? Is this your girlfriend? She's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> yes, is adorable. Yeah, she is. So Tariq began to start making her promises that, hey, I'm gonna get you out of here. You gonna come and live with me? Cause she was like, I don't want to go with Big Mama. I said, whoa. But I'm like, Tariq, you giving her a big promise, bro. You, you like, are. you first of all, you ain't got no apartment yet. And you ain't done made it legit for you to get some legit money, but you making these promises to her, man. Because that's the reason you're in school right now, is so that you could actually get money from your father. Right. So how you gonna how you gonna do all this? So I guess somewhere along the line, Tariq and Lauren had a conversation about getting this phone to Yaz. So Lauren distracted the the CPS lady. Why Tariq gave Yaz the phone and said, hey, whenever you need to call me, give me a call, but you can't tell nobody about this phone. And I was like, uh, that I don't know if that's a good idea because, you know, you know kids? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know if she's going to be able to actually keep that phone concealed. What you think? She's ghost kid. So you think so? She'll be okay. <laughs> so we see Kane. So after Kane left the spot with Tariq and Brayden, he went to this crazy party that Mecca was throwing for this dude that I guess they partners um, Nuff. 
and nothing there with a meat cleaver and cutting open the goddamn pig. What is going on? And drugs falling out, you know, got, you know, naked so women happy. running around. They sniffing cocaine. I mean, this is, the party is crazy. Sounds like a night in Vegas to right. me. <laughs> so, Mecca introduces Nuff to Kane and be like, this is Kane. You know, this is my boy Nuff. Kane is working with us to help us expand the organization. So, he was like, y'all enjoy. Yada, yada. So, Kane and Nuff get to talking. And so, Nuff was like, how do you how do you know um, Mecca? Then Nuff was like, yeah, we know him from back from Kuwait. And then y'all remember the cook was like, hey, ladies. Yeah. This is the birthday boy. Come and show them. Because we see that Nuff has loose lips just like Guap. Getting the guards telling everything. Like, you don't know Kane. The real G is the chef, though. Right. He don't came through twice yeah. with the, okay, let me put my buds in. I ain't seen nothing. I ain't heard nothing. Now, no. this time, as soon as, okay. As soon as he start, yep. Fix that. So, I had saw that when he did that, he disappeared. Mm. So... Uh, when Kane was over there, when, they, when the two girls was dancing on them, Kane was like, hey, Mecca, you ain't gonna come and get on this? And Nuff was like, you know what, well, he ain't got no time for this. Like, ever since we've been in, in New York, he been had his, you know, eyes on this, this yeah. B. And for we knew it, Mecca come out of nowhere and choke Ooh. that dude out. But we was talking about that. He was saying, I don't mix, you know, you mix my personal and my family, family business. business. But he looked at Kane when he said family, family business. business. So I'm like, y'all might be right, man. <laughs> that this dude is probably Kane's got doing daddy, like y'all said, man. But yeah, it oh, was no. it was crazy that the way he looked at Kane when he said it. Kane was oh, looking yeah. like, yeah. But I believe that Kane, that Mecca got Kane shook, because we should. we have not seen Kane shook. You know, Kane is the dude that takes take that, that, that chase the down. bodies down. You know, he ain't scared of nobody. Let's take him down. One hit a quitter. And he the way that he's seeing Mecca move, because after that, <laughs> Mecca told the girls to get on him while while Nuff is <laughs> is offline, you know. <laughs> like he's offline. He said he's right offline now. right now. He'll be back. I'm like, dang. So I'm like, so but you can see Kane like Dawn. He got choked out over just saying that. And I said, you better think about what the hell he just said. But I'm still trying to figure it out, too. Because I'm yeah. like, okay, we have two parallels going on here when it comes to the Mecca character. Mecca is gun hold on his position with him. Right. And this Tariq character that at first, he won't try to tell him who Tariq was. Yeah. He either kin to Tariq and them. Right. Or he kin to Kane and them. Right. I need to figure out which one. Right. Because, Immediately. Right, because, yeah, like you were talking about, because Kane actually woke up at Mecca's house the next day, so that party was wild. You know, you wake up at the party. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, you but had he's the only sick, one, though. Huh? He's the only one there. Yeah, so that was a <laughs> sick night. So uh, that's when he told Mecca that he had a problem with Tariq. Tariq. Because he was like this this nerdy kid up at Stansfield that my, you know, that my, uh, that Monet is trusting, but I don't trust him. And Mecca was like, because you want control. And so Mecca was asking about his name, and, to, and he was hesitant of giving um, Tariq's name. And Mecca was like, I done brought you over my spot, showed you all my people. You know all this about me, but you won't, you know what? I don't work with people that don't trust, trust me. me. But here's the thing Mecca asked the question to the question that he already knew the answer to. Right. So you already knew the answer. That's exactly. why I said, is he the Tariq? For Kane that right. he can to. Exactly. So so Kane ended up telling Mecca the name because Mecca was like, hey, you ain't working with me, man. You know, I don't much work with people who don't trust me. So he ended up giving up the name. So he was like, I'm gonna help you. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna help you. Uh so we see Mr. Zeke. <laughs> <laughs> we know last week that Zeke got picked up when he was screwing old girl um in the dorm. So now he's down at the station with Detective Whitten. And to well, he won't screw on her this time. He was going to break it off this well, time. Well, yeah, yeah. No, no. She, he was having sex with the white girl. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I'm thinking about. I'm girl. thinking about Carrie. You thinking about Carrie? Not Carrie. No, yeah. He yeah. picked up when he was screwing he the was white girl. He was watching her when he, he was watching him when he came out of Carrie's. He picked up when he screwed. Yeah, yeah. I had it wrong. So, uh, yeah. Speaking of, that girl put it on camera too and put it out there for everybody put it on to see. Social media. Yeah, she did. So he up there questioning, um, questioning Zeke. You know, what's his relationship? 
you know, with uh, with with Carrie, with Professor, Professor Ingram. Ingram, and Zeke was like, you know what, Me I don't got Carrie. time for this. Um, I gotta be at practice. I'm gonna be late. My coach is gonna be worried what I'm at. <laughs> and the detective was like, well, it looked like you was having a lot of practice, you know, when I picked you up. And Zeke was like, you don't know who I am. You know, I'm Zeke Cross. I'm getting ready to, you know, get in the NBA draft. And he was like, mm -hmm. I don't keep yeah, up with sports. Yeah, I don't keep up with sports like that. So basically not buying into anything that Zeke was talking about. Mm -hmm. So he asked Zeke, what's your relationship with Kerry? And he was like, with Jabbar. He asked him about Jabbar. He was like, uh, he not my advisor. Then he started asking her about Kerry. And she was, he was like, she is my advisor. Then he started asking about Jabari and their relationship. And he was like, uh, I don't know anything. Uh, I know he wrote a book about her. And some uh, stuff like that. Stuff like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> now, we was like, why does Zeke why keep are you talking? Over? But we got to remember that Zeke is not street smart. He was, he's been, supposed to be shield from all of this stuff right here. Yeah. He ain't even supposed to be down there at the precinct. Yeah. But yeah. The, the moment that his knee almost got uh, shot off, you should have got street smart. Huh. You should have known that it was some more going on with your family than what meets the eye. So he asked. So he asked the question because you remember that he asked Carrie that um, Detective Whitten asked Carrie in the last episode, mm. "Where were you <laughs> when Jabari the hours. <laughs> between the hours of seven to ten when Jabari got shot?" And she said, "I was with Zeke Cross." So of course he gonna ask Zeke the same question, and Zeke was like, "No, no, I was." But he didn't. He, they didn't talk to be able to collaborate a story. But we were trying to remember if they, if he remember. was with with her. We couldn't remember. We know they was together in the last episode, but we just don't. Well, in the episode that he got shot, we know they was together, but we don't know the timeline. The time line. I couldn't. I couldn't remember. Y'all remember? Go ahead. Drop that down and drop that down below. So he's still trying to contact Monet, but we know Monet is preoccupied because you remember before she met with uh, with Kane and, and them, saying, telling Kane and, and Tariq them they need to squash the beef. She had. Dante's card. So she finally meets up with him. They having, you know, this nice, lux, nice dinner with, you know, the champagne. They taking helicopter rides. We find out that they got history going back freaking 24 years. What'd you say now? 24 years. How old is Kane? Yeah. So that's where then we was like, uh, yeah. So I, I and both I, of them jokers like wearing turtlenecks. Yup. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> so so she been she so while Zeke trying to get in touch, she out there with him. So she finally comes back from hanging out with him and finally checks her phone and saw that Zeke was trying to contact her, and so she immediately storms out of there, goes down to the precinct. And oh, goes crazy. goes off. Where's my nephew? Y'all, uh, uh, y'all, I'm gonna take your badge. I'm just going crazy. So she storms up in there where Detective Whitney them is at, and she snatches up Zeke. They That's get out of there. Out. By the time they get out of there, we hear Davis coming through there. I'm looking for my client, Zeke Cross. <laughs> I'm looking for my client, and she was like, "We I don't need, you. we don't need no criminal lawyer." I was like, yeah, you kind of <laughs> do. You kind of do. She was like, no, I know who you are. Get out of my way. He was like, did you see the press that's out there? It's a circus. It's a zoo out there. <laughs> you need to go out the back and, and, let I, me. and let me go out here and handle the press. So he went out there. He handled the press and said <laughs> that, Zeke, yeah, that Zeke voluntarily came down here to give some information to help on this Jabari case. And he's been more than willing. And more than willing. <laughs> <laughs> he gets on my nerves because it reminds me so much of when him and Red Man get together yeah. and act up. <laughs> you know it's more than willing. <laughs> you know, brother. <laughs> so, so Monet pulls on side of the street, like, "You okay? You good? Did they touch you? You good?" <laughs> He's like, "I'm good." He was like, "You know, it's about you know Professor, you know Carrie." She was like, "The the, 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 the B, the B, I told you to stop messing with." He was like, yeah, he was like, they think I had something to do with Jabari murder. And uh, they keep talking. She arguing with him. They going back and forth. And he lets her know <laughs> that I gave the PBA card to them that 
that you told me to get from a rare ass. And she was like, you gave them that card? But you got to remember, Kane killed Ramirez. So they still hiding that. So them presenting that, him presenting that card kind of makes him a family. suspect. You know, now they're going to question him about that. But because we found out this episode that the police don't even know that, that he's he dead. dead. So, so where they think he's at? So I guess they think that he's he missing. He's just missing? Yeah, so I guess he's a missing case, I I, I guess. Oh, we missed something. Y'all used to fill us in when we missed that. So let us know. Well, that's what Kane said. Yeah. Kane said the cops don't know he did. So she was like, why did you do that? And he was like, because you told me, you told, you told me to. Yeah. And he was like, is something wrong with um, Ramirez? He's dead. Yeah. And so he goes crazy was like, Duh, what'd you do to me? You told me that you looking out for my best interest, but you will never tell me nothing so I can help myself. That is true. So I'm like, here we go again that Monet, she's smart. But making a, a amateur, move. amateur move like that, that you knew that Marie Rez was dead and you didn't think to get the PBA card back from Zeke. Uh-huh. Real fast. Yeah. Seeing that you trying to keep him away from the game and just that one mistake to pull him in with a body. Already, they already trying to pin Jabari on him and carry. Now... Nine out of the ten, they're gonna try to pin this Ramirez on him too if they find because, out that he dead. Because it's his gun. Right. That killed Jabba. Right. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Crazy. So we see in this episode, we see Diane goes down to see her daddy because later in the episode, <laughs> Monet just ever since Dante came in the picture, she's just been on this this kick. And just start fussing at her for no reason. Like you want to, you want to hear from your daddy. You go down there and talk oh, to him no, yourself. Oh no, it ain't been since Dante. She but, been mean to the yeah, kids. Yeah, true that, true that. I'm trying to. <laughs> she been talking. She been yeah. asking to come snatch them yeah. kids up. <laughs> <laughs> she been nasty to them kids. So she go down there to see um Lorenzo, and she asked him, "Do you know that Kane is back in the house?" Mm-hmm. And he was like, "Yeah, it's my idea." And he was like, but I was expecting Monet because we got, got some business. business to talk about. That's a, hmm. um, so he was like, yeah, it was my idea, but family first. He was like, I know Kane done, done effed up and everything, but it's always family first. And she started crying. So we were trying to figure, I was trying to figure out why that was the case. Yeah. But I think this was the, the no, it couldn't have been the catalyst. No. I was gonna think that was the catalyst when she went to talk to Davis them that he said family first, so she was thinking about okay family first. Let me get my daddy out of jail. No, but that, no, that's not a connection. But since we are talking about that, I think what she was crying about, in my opinion, stemmed from last week when she was talking to what's the girl name at the campus? Um, the little the, the drug dealer girl. Oh, Tariq's oh, girl. Yeah, I know you're talking about. Yeah. Um, when she was talking Effie. to Effie. When she was talking to Effie last week, and Effie said, who is it that would gain the most by messing up your family's money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And she realized that it was an inside job done by the family in order to pull himself back in closer. Right. So I think all of that is going on, and she realizing that, listen, my dad's influence just don't pretty much brought, brought the enemy back on the inside. Mm. But I can't even tell them about this because right. they ain't even going to try to hear me because he is family at the end of the day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, that's what yeah, I thought. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I think you're right too. Mm. But, uh, yeah, uh, so we see that she had, uh, we had saw later in the episode where she had rolled up on Tariq in the spot that, she, <laughs> that Lauren showed him where they got crossed, where Lauren and her got crossed up. But she was like, I need your help. I need... To be able to, to see the lawyer that got your mom off. Uh, because every time I call the office, they tell me I need a referral. No. <laughs> so I need your help. So she was like, I helped you, so now you owe me. And he was like, hey, bet. I got you. So she got the meeting with McLean and with Sax. That's a, and so they was reviewing Lorenzo's file and was like, hey, he done had some pretty good lawyers on this case. but And she was like, yeah, but he think that... Basically, all of them screwed him, and he was like, every client that loses think that their lawyer screws them. <laughs> like, yeah, True. yeah, yeah, because we pay y'all a lot of money. And to, still end up in jail. And still end up in jail. 
So Sax was like, no, we, yeah, we can't do this. This is the lost cause. And Davis was like, we're going to keep looking into this. And if we find a way to get her out, get him out, we're going to let you and your mom know. She was like, nope, don't let my mom know. Just me. So when she left, um, he was like, Sax, why in the heck did you do that? That was our, that was our money. And Sax was like, you know, if we get, we, if we lose, he going to kill us. And then if he get out, he's going to go right back to the streets doing what he want to do. And be back in And the Davis were like, well, that sounds like repeat business to me. me. I said, I never thought about it like that. <laughs> right. So then we see we don't need no more sex, sex scene. It's, yeah. But we needed the information that was presented in but, sex scene. <laughs> but he always get the information during his sex scene. Yeah, so that's why he has sex with her so he can get the information I mean, from she her. is whistling when she gets a good old, yeah. Mm. So he's talking to her and gets that the prosecutor that did the case, Lorenzo's case, that this prosecutor is really good at prosecuting people like Lorenzo, actually was stealing evidence, drugs, from the evidence room. And I'm like, what? Yeah. So when he found that out, he immediately texts, uh, Davis was like, we can get Lorenzo out of jail. And we like, oh, uh -oh. skip. Because... I need to be a Tejada right about now. Right. <laughs> so we know that Mecca and Monet are rekilling in things and, and Lorenzo know. was going to get out. <laughs> so you know that's fitting to be something crazy right there. And not only that, Dante, Mecca... Right. ...is getting chummy, chummy, chummy with his son. His son. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> so, this is about to get real. Yeah, it is it's about to get real. Let's see. I'm talk about a lot. Yeah. Don't forget to talk about um when Kane rolled up on um Tariq. Yeah. About yeah. The yeah. You doing right. good. Yeah, let's go down here right here. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. All right, so then we see uh, Brayden uh, actually came back to Kane to give him the money for, you know, for the weight. And uh, Brayden was kind of thrown off a little bit because you remember he promised to Reek that he would make the 30K for him so he can get that LLC thing going. And he came up eight bands short. So he was stressing out. So this was an opportunity for Kane to step in to try to take advantage of Braden, because you remember Mecca told him that I can help you get to deal with Tariq. And you remember when he was when he was uh spying when on was spying him. on them on Tariq when 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 Kane was given was Kane was giving him the drugs he was spying on on them. And he said the way Mecca told Kane the way you can get to Tariq is Brayden. through Braden. That's gonna be Tariq's soft spot. Mm -hmm. So this was Kane's opportunity to be like, okay, you short eight bands. He was like, that's that's, that's lunch nothing. money, you know. We on the streets, are you? We can, it was nothing to get that on the streets. I'm like really? So here we go with this streets thing again, because we know that Braden got a hard on. He oh wanted to get, God. he wanted to be back on the street, you know. <laughs> yeah, he got, a, he's like a pit bull. He got a taste of blood, and he's right. ready to go. So Kane was like, I know a couple of spots. Let's go ahead and roll on out. So they, so he get he was like I don't know you know I was supposed to be getting back with Tariq because when they had met he was challenging him about being boss. Yeah, he was, he was like, so you taking all the orders from your, from your boss? boss? He was like, nah, you know, put respect on me, man. He's like, me and Tariq, we fifty fifty. If I was if I want a boss, I wouldn't be down here doing what I'm doing. And he was like, no, you're the errand boy, basically. So he was playing on his freaking ego. Yeah, so he, he ended up convincing him to get into the truck. But by this time. Kane had got the text from Monet mm -hmm. about Zeke. So he was like, get out. I got business. I got business to take care of, but leave the bag. I got you. So we was like, break, don't leave that bag. Don't leave that bag. But we was like, then again, we was like, you know what? Kane is not going to screw him. Because he needs him. Because he needs him. So uh, Kane, so they had a family meeting. So Monet had a family meeting. It was like, Zeke upstairs, he sleep. Gave them the, the nine on what happened. But Monet started blaming Kane for it. <laughs> and I'm like, wait Always. a minute. Like, it's this one, this one right here is not on Kane. It kind of is. I mean, it is. <laughs> I mean, Kane, Kane was the one that killed 
Ramirez, but she was the one and that didn't get the PBA call back. So I guess it's both of their fault, I guess. All roads lead back to Kane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's all <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so she blaming so she blaming him for that. But we found out that when Monet stepped out, they they hit no one of them didn't know where she was. That night? To yeah. Them, tonight. To them, yeah. So she <laughs> So Diana was like, she left right after I did. She wasn't here. Yeah. So after that. Kane storms out, goes straight to Tariq Dawn, and punches him wow. in the face. Bow. It was like, so that's your plan? So you gonna so you gonna want this this murder, um, Jabari's murder to blow back on Zeke now because of this Curry girl? He's like, what are you talking he said, about? What are you talking about? It's like, yeah. He was like, I sent my lawyer down there to handle that. So he was like, Kane was like, look, if this stuff don't pan out the way that you say, you taking the rap for. All of it. All of it. You you taking the rap for the murder of Jabari and for Maria ass if you don't get this jump straight. <laughs> and Tariq like, I got this. He was like, you know, Davis got this and we all gonna be safe. Kane said, ain't nobody safe. <laughs> Not even you. <laughs> Not even you. <laughs> so I, it's like it's it's been like so many like like twists. Like at first, this whole thing. But Jabari was supposed to have been blowing back on on Ramirez. And every time the plane just keeps on getting kicked down the road, it keeps on being messed up and mess, it gets worse and worse. So I'm like, at this point, is is Zeke really gonna take this take this hit? It really looks like it. Cause it look I mean, because all the roads is pointing back to him now because he was sleeping with Carrie. And they know it. That's not <laughs> oh my god. That's horrible. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like that he did nothing but sleep with somebody that he had no business sleeping with, but at the end of the day, consenting adults, she the one that was wrong more than he was, but now you get ain't it crazy how easily you could get pinned and hemmed up in some stuff that you ain't got nothing to do with. Right. So yeah, I what y'all think, man? Do y'all think Zeke is gonna be the one to go down for this for both of the murders, man? Because <laughs> I think it's going to eventually spin back into the Tejada family because then they're going to want to figure out is how was Ramirez so close to y'all that, that y'all got, got that card. Yeah. Now, uh, I think most people know that him and, you know, Monet was messing around or whatever, but it kind of was like the, the <sighs> deep, dark secret. Like, you know, but you don't know. Right. So, yeah, I don't know what, how the heck this is going to spin out. I don't know. Yeah. Like even Tariq was like, why the hell would Zeke present that card? It's like, because he don't know. He don't know. He yeah, don't know. He, yeah, he's supposed to be in the dark. And you, we got to remember that Zeke's um, graduating and getting Zeke to graduate is a part of the deal for him to be able to... Yeah, Tariq to stay. Yeah, Tariq to stay because he got to graduate so he can get the inheritance from Ghost. So it's, <laughs> it just keeps getting worse. And worse and worse and worse. So then we see, uh, no, nah, not the end of the episode. Uh, oh, we saw that the next morning because uh, <clears throat> Braden was supposed to meet Kane at 10 a.m. the next morning. And Braden was out there, and it seemed like I guess Kane was late because he was on edge, like, you know what? He done F me, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so Kane shows up, gives him the bag of money, but he got you know, truck with women in there. And he was like, you know, why don't you come on road with us? And he was like, hey, I got a meeting with Tariq. I was like, here we go. Uh -huh. I thought he was going to fall for it. but he Yeah, didn't. he didn't fall for it this time because we knew what he needed to be. Mm -hmm. So he ended up giving money to this new girl. <laughs> buy yourself something nice. Yeah, buy yourself something nice. So we saw at the end of the episode that he ended up going over there to where Bash was and... He was late, and they always late. Tariq and them always late. Yeah, yeah. but he always walking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Tariq don't get no rides from nobody. So, Braden ended up signing the LLC to be the president. Of course, correct, so that Tariq can get a legitimate check so he can get back gas. <sighs> but when you going to get legitimate money for an apartment? <laughs> I guess through selling the drugs, I guess. Yeah, so so I think the biggest thing out this episode that if 
if Sax and Davis gets Lorenzo out of jail, he getting out. It's going to be crazy between him and Mecca. And, and, and I, can't wait. I can't wait for it. <laughs> but I love the fact that no one else calls Mecca Dante. No. Nah. But Monet. Yep. Yep. So is Mecca the name to cover up who Dante is really in the streets? Hmm. So if you say Dante, they would be like, oh, that. But nobody knows Dante Damn. is Mecca. Right. It's a lot. Just like nobody. But I, I can't wait. Like Ghost and St. Patrick. Yeah. And all, yeah. Yeah. James. Yeah. So, yeah, y'all get down in the comments. Let us know what y'all thought about the episode. And we're going to catch y'all next week, man. Straight from the VA. The Dirty, Dirty South. Two up. Two down. Holla! Ooh.